A woman and her son barely escaped their burning home, but a teenage girl is in critical condition tonight. The family lived on Millbrook Court in the Lanstown Meadows section of Virginia Beach. Near size Anita Blanton is live with their story. Anita? Tom, that fire broke out just before 2 a.m. One neighbor said that he heard screams, walked out and saw a huge blaze, but he also saw a mother and her son desperately calling for an 18-year-old girl inside to wake up. Now, firefighters say a smoke detector was what was absent from the first floor of the home, and they're not sure if there was one on the second floor that was working. Smoke detectors are critical, especially in the middle of the night, a fire of this sort. And after that fire, this is what's left of the home a mother and her two children shared. In the middle of the night, as it was being ravaged by flames, she and her 15-year-old son were able to make it out. But her 18-year-old daughter was stuck inside. We got a call for a residential structure fire. Uh, report of a victim trapped in the upstairs bedroom. First responders tried desperately to make their way into the home, finally using a ladder to break a window and rescue the teen, who was by then badly burned and unconscious. Neighbors can't believe what happened so close, so fast. This neighborhood's went quiet, close knit. I, w I want to actually see what's going on because I want to try to me and another neighbor will and see what's going if they need anything. While the house sits hollow and empty, they're just hoping the young woman rescued will pull through. I was hoping that everybody was okay. You know, fire late at night like that, it's not a not a good thing. Firefighters say they risked a lot to save a lot here. So even if the house is a total loss, it pales in comparison to lives saved. We are going to keep checking on the teenage girl who was rescued. No word on a cause of the fire right now, but we do know that she is at Centera Norfolk General Hospital. A firefighter suffered from smoke inhalation as well and was treated and released. Two dogs were inside the home at the time of the fire. One died. Another was given oxygen by firefighters and survived. Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.